In case you've been living inside a Ballet 3 for the past few years, Bujit Tan and Kajo Baldissimo's award-winning comic book series, Trece, is heading to Netflix as a six-episode anime series. It is said to bring to the international audience a purely Filipino story that features creatures from our rich mythology, including the Tikbalang, Nuno, and of course, the Aswang. The series follows the eponymous detective Alexandra Trece, whose lineage has destined her to become the peacekeeper between the humans and the mythological creatures who have made the city of Manila their home. Alongside her are the Kambal Crispin and Basilio, masked mystical entities who always got Trece's back. With the excessive success from season one, everyone is turning eyes and asking the question that everyone has on their mind, that will there be a season two of Trece? So let's jump straight into it. Number eight, will there be a Trece? season two? Trece, a new supernatural horror anime with a focus on Asian legend, dropped on Netflix. It's already making waves for its action-packed story and unique animation style. In a world in which strange creatures live among humans and commit crimes, the show also features plenty of thrills, a voice cast of mostly Filipino descent, and a strong female protagonist, Alexandra Trece. Shay Mitchell, the reviews have been good, with Ready Stead Cut calling the show a brilliant start to the adaptation, and NME proclaiming the six-part series the best in coolest animated series on Filipino folklore, bar none. With just three hours of material out there, as part of the first season though, it's natural for people to wonder if Netflix plans to give Trece more episodes. This is a show you can currently binge in just one evening, and it's not nearly enough. Given that, will this exciting new show receive a second season? Everything turns out alright by the end of season one, but it's clear that there are plenty of more adventures to be had. Netflix has yet to announce whether Trece season two is in the cards, but judging from the critical response from the first batch of episodes that we have received, it would be a safe bet. The streaming service has become a premier destination for new original anime like Castlevania and Yasuke, so one would assume it would want to carry on with such a high profile performer. Number 7. What's the release date for Trece Season 2? Trece Season 1 debuted on Netflix in the United States on June 10th, 2021. It premiered throughout the rest of the world following the date and has offered a fun summertime binge watch for horror lovers across its six episodes. It would make the most sense for Season 2 to have roughly the same number of episodes, and assuming there are no longer any delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic, next season could feasibly debut around the same time in 2022, likely in June or July. The creative team behind the Netflix series has ample inspiration to pull from. Before this story made it to streaming, it was a Filipino comic series, meaning there are numerous other stories out there where Alexandra protects her city from the forces of darkness. Hopefully those plot lines serves as a blueprint so that the next season can turn up on our homepages sooner rather than later. Number 6. Who's in the cast for Trece Season 2? Trece has English, Filipino, and Japanese voice cast. Regardless of whether you enjoy watching subs or dubs, we would expect all of the voice actors to come back for their respective parts. On the English side of things, Shay Mitchell would likely return to reprise her role of Alexandra Trece, while Griffin Puatu provides the voices for her twin bodyguards, the Kambal. Other returns that could take place include John Briones as Hank, Carlos Alzaraqui as Anton Trece, Nicole Serginger as Miranda Trece, and Manny Yakinto as Maliski. Of course, being such a violent series, numerous characters met their dooms at various points in Season 1. This is primarily the case with Captain Guerrero, voiced by Matt Yang King. In his efforts to help Alexandra defeat Datu Talagboaso, Steve Blum, he dies in the process before Alexandra has the chance to trap Talagboaso in a liminal realm. Both characters could theoretically return. After all, flashbacks played a significant role in Season 1's episodes, so those actors could return in that form. Additionally, when dealing with supernatural forces, there are more mystical manners to bring back characters. Number 5. What's the plot of Trece Season 2? Season 1 of Trece ends with Alexander trapping the big bad Datu Talagbusao in a realm between dimensions where he won't be able to hurt anyone else. However, this comes after Talagbusao revealed that Alexandra's father killed her twin sister to prevent the apocalyptic prophecy from coming to fruition. The truth shook Alexandra to her core, and Season 2 will likely pick up where this emotional through line left off. It would make sense for Season 2 to follow her solving crimes while questioning everything her father told her. Another plot point that will inevitably factor into future episodes involves the mid credit scene in the season 1 finale. The moment depicts a creature we would assume is a Jiangxi, a Chinese vampire, more or less, that only says one word, Trece. The Jiangxi is the only mystical monster out there with an appetite for blood, so Alexandra will inevitably have her work cut out for her when she returns on Netflix. Number 4. Storyline Trece Season 2 
the plot revolves around a detective named Alexandra Tracy. As she confided the supernatural, she devoted her skills to protect the city of Manila against crimes that are beyond the police to solve. In her quest of keeping the city safe from paranormal happenings, she is joined by two twin creatures, Kimball and Captain Guerrero. The police head of Manila also trusts Alexandra's skills and motives to help her out whenever things go out of hand. We explore the series with dark graphics blended with Filipino mythology. In the episodes, we learn more about Alexandra's past and the origins of Kimball too. Number 3. It's too early for a renewal, but not for speculation. There are a few facts that favor renewal for Trece, despite the fact that we don't know its ratings and probably never will. For example, the series is based on a comic book series by Bujitan and Kajo Baldissimo that's been around since 2005, which means there's plenty of source material for future installments. NME said that a future season has been plotted out, which means at least that its creators are prepared to move forward if Netflix decides to greenlight another run. Additionally, Netflix has shown a commitment to beefing up its Asian content. Asia is home to the world's great creative centers, producing some of the most compelling films and series of today. Chief Content Officer Ted Sorando said in a 2018 press release, The beauty of Netflix is that we can take never-seen-before stories from South Korea, Thailand, Japan, India, Taiwan, or elsewhere and easily connect them to people all over Asia and the world. More than half of Asian content viewers viewed on Netflix this year are viewed outside the region, so we have confidence that our upcoming slate of Asian productions will find fans in their home countries and abroad. Still, we do know that Netflix tends to release entire seasons rather than approve a pilot episode and then deciding whether or not to produce more based on how well it does, which means that there are a lot of one-season Netflix originals out there. Hopefully Trece doesn't become one of them. Number 2. How Trece's Post-Credits Set Up Season 2 Alexandra Trece does her job as a paranormal investigator pretty well in Netflix's Trece, but there's a heavy toll taken on Manila. Throughout Season 1, she manages to work with various supernatural clans as well as the military to dispel the god of war, Talag Busao. But the journey is far from over. By the end of Season 1, she's finally embraced her role as Lakan, a protector meant to keep the balance between the monster and human world. But a new threat also arrives, teasing and enticing Season 2. This happens in the post-credits of the finale. A couple of dock workers in the city are suddenly abducted and devoured throwing up blood all over the place. The anime then cuts to a shadowy figure on a rooftop delighting in her feast. The mysterious woman simply says, Trece, indicating that she's coming for Alexandra, the last of her bloodline. And from how swift and powerful she is, this creature will be a handful. Number 1. Behind the Scenes Clip Released by Netflix In the behind the scenes clip released by Netflix, Mitchell warns the audience, it's definitely going to have a lot of twists and turns, so don't think you know what's coming because you don't. One could only hope that she's also referring to the possibility of a second season. After all, that extra credit scenes at the end of episode 6 introduces a fanged, red-eyed, and long-haired woman wreaking havoc in the streets of Manila. A new villain, perhaps? We can only guess as of now, but the hope for the new season are definitely high. I cannot wait for it, and I'm sure you can't either. With that, we will end our video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like to the video if you were entertained. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. There's a lot more content to follow that you don't want to miss. Till that, peace!